Good morning everyone, welcome to the very last day of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook groups, 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. Amazing, I cannot believe we've got to day 12, it's just gone so very very fast. Today it was to make a file folder to hold the rest of the 12 days that you've done, the 11 things that you've made. So I'm going to show you how to make this folder, but I'm going to give you a, a quick look through first. Now I've used some seam binding just to tie it up with. And on the front here, this is a very vintage snowflake. It actually originates from Canada, funnily enough. And um, I popped it on there because it goes with the outside. Now I've covered mine with wrapping paper because the size of this is quite big and obviously to use sheets of printed paper you would need quite a lot and you would have the joinings so that's why it's all glitzy today so whoops flicky flicky so in here i have the notepad that we made and one of the pop-up cards Then here I have two of the little snowflake cards that we made. This is the one that I used the trees on. And there's a couple of envelopes in the back that we made on another video. Put them in there. Then this way. Here we've got the pockets, the different pockets. We've got two there. And then the other one there, the Bambi. They're the different pockets that I made that day. In here is the file folder. That we did, you know, the trifold envelope. And I popped the four tags that I made, the shaker tags, they're all in here. So I'll pop them all in there. Put them back in again. just put this one just in there it makes it look a little bit prettier this page these are the other cards that we did when on the day when we had to make envelopes and Christmas cards and these are more envelopes and then there's a couple of cards this is the little girl who looks like a, a princess and she's a fairy that we decoupaged up then on the front here this is the um, gift card holder <laughs> And I've popped a couple of envelopes in. And in this one are the corner tucks that we made. So they're little corner tucks. Pop them in there. And then at the back, it was the scrap day when we used lots of bits of scrap and had fun making things. You know, we made the pockets out of the calendar and things like that. So this was the, the, the use up your scraps day. And uh, so that's at the back of here. And that is all 12, well all 11 fitted in day 12's folio. Now it's quite a big folio because I wanted to accommodate the folder really well. I wanted to be able to slip in and out nicely. I didn't want to have any problems with trying to get it in and out. Now I've used the panda file folders and I've cut them down. Now the panda file folders we can get here from America on Amazon and we can also get other file folders here but they're not as thick and it's very very hard to get cream ones. Very rarely staples will get them in so I've stuck to these today. Now I've cut them down already because it was easier than going back and forward. I took two inches off the bottom and then I measured from the fold here and from the fold here. Make sure you do from each fold because otherwise you're going to land up with the back shorter than the front. This here is six and a half inches. Okay, and then I made two. Now the middle one 
I took a little bit off the end here so that it fitted better inside and you couldn't see, you know, your bits sticking out. So that is your basis of your file folder. I then covered it all. You don't need to see me covering this because I will be here till next Christmas. Um, I glue this down once I've covered it. And then it's about building your pockets. So to build your pockets, you take your little cutty off bits. This is what I've used to make mine and it's perfect size. You take your panda file and you know your folder that you're making and you literally measure up like this and mark it off with a pencil. So you know where you need to cut. You're gonna cut there and you're gonna cut down here and then you're gonna cut this bit here off, you know, the tabby bit. And that is perfect for a side one. For um, the bottom one, again, you do exactly the same thing you know this way round cut it that way so it fits really really easy this is a very very simple file folder now the bit that is complicated is this bit and I'm going to show you this on the side you have here I know you can see that so it's like um, a flexi file you know with, with the extra bits because I wanted to you know I needed that extra space for that really big file folder to fit in now to do that one, I made it a bit deeper because obviously um, we needed that depth to hold the file folder and it actually measures, I'll tell you exactly, it's three and a half inches this way, okay? Now to make this bit, I had some bits of this left over from other crafting. You know, the bit where you've got your, if I fold it, you'll probably be able to see it better where you um, cut up your file folders and nine times out of ten you have lots of this bit where you would fold to make your file folder bigger this bit and you make your valleys and your mountains so let me just fold that and you'll be able to see it better i had lots and lots of bits of these so this is what i've used to make the bit across the bottom here and i only did the bottom and the top you do not need it on the side if it is something really big then you would put the bottom one in but you really don't need it on this sort of size so all you do is you get this the other way of doing it is that you would take a bit of card and you would literally just fold I'm going to take that out so you can see what I'm doing because obviously if it's the same color you're not going to see it properly you're going to you just do your mountains and your valleys so you land up with two mountains there that bit there and then you chop this bit now the bottom bit I always cut a little bit bigger because it gives that extra strength when you pop it in underneath and you would glue the both the bottom bits in so you glue your bottom bit in then you glue your top bit in and then you will put your file folder over the top Gluing this bit, do not glue your pocket shut like I did this morning. <laughs> Turned it up, yeah. How I've done it, I don't know, but I landed up gluing it and had a big gap at the other side. But this is how easy it is to get that expandable bit in the middle. So quick, so easy. And you, you the best thing to do is to hold it down while it is, is gluing. Use a quick glue like Fabri-Tac or something like that that's going to dry it really quickly. And you're done you're finished that is how quick it is to make a file folder now on mine what i did was i've actually sewn all the way around my pages first before i put it together and i've also sewn round all my pockets before i've glued them together i've then put a bit of lace down here because it's nice to make it a little bit more festive and what have you i thought it would just make a bit of a difference and I've also sewn that down and the back. And I sewed it all together. I literally placed the folders in, glued the folders together, glued the lace on the back and the front, and my machine took it no problem going through those layers. So that's our file folder. Um, so quick, so easy to do. 
I think a lot of people are a bit scared of making file folders because they look really, really complicated, but they're really not. They are just literally pockets. I've got a bottom pocket here. And I'll put the wee card back in again. It keeps popping up to say hello, that one. Um, bottom pocket there and a side one here because with so many big things, you know, they, they were needed to go in a side pocket. Side pocket facing the big expandable pocket on here. Another side pocket here so I could get my cards in and my envelopes and another bottom pocket on there. Now, you can, if you want to, put another pocket on the back. I've often done file folders where I've only done one, you know, just the, the one layer, not the, with the insert, and I will put a, a pocket on the back. Sometimes I've even put a pocket on the front. It depends how much stuff you want to put in them. But because this is, is so bulky and got so much in it, I thought it would be much nicer to keep everything inside it and then wrap it up. Get him wrapped up. So let me just tuck him under there. And then tie them all up. I do love that. I've got quite a few of those. Um, I'd, I'd actually forgotten about them. I was having a, a bit of a clear out. Um, and I came across them. I thought, oh my goodness, they would look so pretty on journals. So you're going to come in here. Now, obviously this is the last day. I'm making a um, list, you know, on youtube a playlist so that you can catch up if you've not had chance to watch during these 12 days and i know linda israel does too hers goes back i think it's three years and i'm going to add to my playlist the other girls who have been part of this like linda and Gigi and karen um rachel and julie i'm sure that's the ones that have done it and put them on my playlist so they're all there together so that any time you want some inspiration or you want to make something and you think, what can I do? You know, I want something different. I'm doing my journal the same every day. You can pop in there and you can watch one of the videos and it will give you some inspiration. Because although this was based around uh, Christmas, obviously the ideas are for any, any time of the year. You know, whenever you want to go in. And the other thing is, I'm going to carry on doing one video a day up to Christmas because there's lots of other ideas that I thought I'd like to share with you. So I'm going to carry on for another 12 days after Saturday finishes. And I will be showing you stuff from some of the other girls that I do design team work. You know, their papers and things like this. Um, <coughs> frog in the throat. Um, because I thought it'd be nice just to carry on um, right the way through. Um, because I've now got into a lovely routine of getting these videos done in the morning and it's really working out great for me um, and I'm absolutely loving it. If there is something you would like me to show you how to make, do drop me a line anywhere, be it in email, be it on Messenger, on this video and I will do that for you because particularly if you're a newbie, sometimes you can get stuck on making things and sometimes you know you may not have found a video that you can really understand um i was really really fortunate um i was watching somebody uh paula froda she used to do gorgeous glue books and from her i found gail and paulette and our tracy so i found people who really knew the industry really knew how to make journals uh, Maggie, Maggie Smith and the girls and it was great so for me I didn't have to go and look and look and look for videos I was already doing memory books so obviously you know that that comes into this but it's quite often you know we can't find that video can we um, Linda Israel I will say has covered so so much if you're ever stuck, go over and look through her videos because, my goodness, and the fact that she's a mixed media artist and she uses so many techniques, you know, jelly printing and all the rest of it, inspiration, and I know you would love that. So thank you so very much for being with me in these 12 days. Um, it's the first time I've done it, and I am so happy that I did. So hopefully next year I can do another one. <laughs>
Have an amazing day, everybody. Love and blessings to you all.